Hello and welcome to a small, little, easy Dragon Pyramid tutorial. Okay, um, I was just kind of like thinking, I haven't done any major tutorials in a while because there's nothing major that I need to show people. Like I've already done it all, do you know what I mean? Like you, if, if you're following my tutorials and stuff, you'll know that if you want anything, you just type anything in here and you'll get it straight away. For example, uh, some kind of mouse speed setting. Mouse and keyboard will be in the mouse, mouse speed setting. Easy type thing. Okay, maybe, yeah, it is there. Crikey. I nearly uh, got myself in the crapper there. Anyway, um, so I was just thinking I would show you something very, very, very simple that I've never shown before and people might not know about um, or whatever. So here it is. Basically, it's got something to do with a finder. Um, you see these buttons up the top? You can change them around and customize them the way that you want to, um, not the way I want to, or the person on the other side of the world who's also got a Mac but has it in a different way because it's it's customization. Right click, customize toolbar, easy peasy, or control click if you've only got a single click mouse. Um, so basically, what 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 is this? Why? 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 Why do I get pay me? Why? 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 Right, basically, you can move this about, these little thingamajiggies, right? You can take out spaces, you can add stuff, etc. So, for example, maybe you want to eject CDs a lot, you can shove that at the very end, and voila, we've got an eject CD. And to take it out, you just drag and drop it out, and it, it just adjusts accordingly. So let's say you you don't really want the quick look thing um, because you know for a fact that quick look is just spacebar. So that's a pile of rubbish. It's just useless. Drag it out and, and just drop it. Ta-da! And if you want it back, it should be in these lists here. Oh my gosh, where is it? Uh, there it is, quick look. Drag it in, put it back to where it was, etc. Right, so, well, drag and pay me. I already knew that. That's silly, pointless, stupid, whatever. New folder, perhaps? Might, you might have that one. But here, here's where it gets a little bit exciting. Well, I say exciting. It's not really exciting. Really. It's not too exciting. But anyway, here we go. Let's say we're on a different finder window. Right? Ta-da! And it's just like, hmm, well, I'm, I'm looking through my applications here, and I'm thinking, you know, I, I don't use... Uh, Let's find a program juiced too often because it's it's not in the dock. Um, but I did still don't like raking through the applications for it, and I don't have an application stack because I think that's silly because you've got a thousand and million applications, etc. Well, you probably guessed by now. You basically drag it and drop it in here, and voila, you've got the juiced application here. And when you click it, guess what? The juiced application runs. Isn't that exciting? Wow. I know I don't sound very enthusiastic or excited because basically I'm not. <laughs> well, no, I've just woken up and I thought, you know, I'll do a tutorial. I feel in the mood to do a tutorial, but I don't feel too overexcited, etc. So anyway, so you can drag up applications in here um, and things like that as well. So isn't that cool? But I don't know. Hey, we'll do a test here. I don't know if you have to be on this like customization thing. So we'll do a test. Firefox, can you just no, no, okay. So okay, we just did a little test there, only testing. Right click, you have to right click and go customize toolbar to be able to to plonk stuff in this this thing of a jig here. Okay. So well that was quick and silly dragon pay me. Now what? Well, if you've if you could put applications in there, why can't you put shortcuts that's why you can't maybe you can maybe i just need to uh, not do it through the stack two cents you see this is a little experiment for me to be honest because yes you can put shortcuts in there see voila so you can put shortcuts in there applications in there and i guess you can put any kind of um dmg yes you can or or well anything that's a file to be fair because I bet this is just like a, it makes a shortcut here kind of thing. I bet that's what it is. So, for example, I wonder if we could get the trash up there. In fact, I don't know. So I'm just, I'm just really, I'm just taking this time to test it really. Um, 
Hmm, I don't think you can. It will be kind of handy, to be honest. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm a little disappointed with that. I'm not quite sure how to, um, how to do that. You should. Be, if anybody out there knows the way of getting the trash up there, um, please tell me, and I'll tell the rest of you. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of it, really. Um, you you should experiment. Oop, someone's talking to me. Should experiment with um, with drives and experiment with your own files, your own content, to see if you want actually do want anything in there. Um, okay, as soon as this tutorial is quite short, I thought I, I I might as well tell you about these things down here. You can customize these as well, you know. Um, okay, I always get this mixed up. I'm not sure. No, that's not it. Uh, Finder. You go to Finder when you when you on the Finder application. If you must, uh, you click Finder and go to Preferences, um, and then you go into the sidebar option, like General Labels sidebar, and you just tick and untick whatever you want here. So, for example, I don't want documents. Uh, just take go down, untick documents. Voila, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And remember, if you want a file in there, um, you can easily just drag it. Sorry. Uh, let me let me explain a little bit more right okay so then 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 tick 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 it's on untick 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 it's off right so let's say for example you wanted to put a file in there um morning I'm, oh lisa man i'm doing a tutorial remember oh, last time I'm going, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you're not going to bed I am. it's flipping 10 30 in the morning why did you always do tutorials when i want to speak to you i don't it's only once so you, you lend us a cd Right, <laughs> so you can put files in there as well by just dragging it and dropping it. I d what? That's not a that's not a, a real question. Right, okay, that's everything I need to tell you, really. So I'll see you next time on a Dragon Pier Me tutorial. I'm finished. Yes, I'm finished. Was that on? What? Was yes, that on? yes, it was on. It's it's on until I click finish, and I've not clicked yet.